is our bead lube, which this is kind of dried up. But we're gonna take our brush, we're gonna dip it in there, and we're gonna take our tire, and we're gonna coat the bead real nice with lubricant. That way there, it doesn't catch on the wheel and tear the bead. So make sure that this is nice and lubricated. Okay. So we've got our tire, our bead, all lubricated, and we're all ready. We have verified that we have the proper size tire. Watch for things like arrows on the tire for direction of rotation. Though this tire does not, some tires do. Right here along the side, you'll find an arrow that'll say direction of rotation. You wanna make sure that you've got that correct. Another thing to take into consideration before you mount the tire is a lot of tires will have a yellow or a red dot on them. If you see this sort of thing, the yellow or red dot, if you've got a yellow dot, it lines up with a valve stem. That's basically the um, heavy spot of the tire. If you have a red dot, the red dot will supersede the yellow dot, and the red dot will go in place of the valve stem. Now, as I looked at this tire before, I thought that I saw a dot. I could be wrong. Sometimes the tires will be marked also inside or outside. Something else to keep in mind. But we do not have a dot on this one. So, we've got our bead lubricated. We're gonna go ahead and put our tire halfway on. Drop the duct bill down. Into position over the rim. Now, this is the key part. This is where it's critical. You wanna lay this tire on here so that the bead to the left of the duct bill is above right here, and the bead to the right of the duct bill is below, okay? Now start to push your tire onto the rim, and now rotate it in a clockwise direction. So I'm gonna push down on that center pedal, right? Now our inner bead is seated, or not seated, but our inner bead is inside of the wheel now. Same goes for this upper bead. The left side high, right side low. Left side above the duck bill, right side below the duck bill. Now this side, you're probably gonna have to push down on the tire a little bit as you're rotating. Okay, now we're gonna head, go ahead and rotate it. See how hard that was? Again, didn't even break a sweat. Now we get our duck bill out of the way. Rotate it so that our valve stem is over here because now we're going to seat the bead. Put our airline on the valve stem. It's spring loaded so that it will lock on there. Now, can you see this pedal down here where my foot is? Of course you can. Push that down lightly. There's two positions. If you push it down too hard, where my phone is sitting up top here, it's gonna blow my phone right off of here because this is known as a bead, this is a, uh, um, like a blaster, like a cheetah. And if you get a tire that won't seat and you need a massive rush of air, you take this guy and you bring it down there to the tire. Somebody tightened that on there pretty good. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you hold it down in there, and when you really push hard, this thing's gonna blast air. But we're hoping we're not gonna need that right now. So we'll put that back up there, lock it in place. Now just push down a little bit. See the tire blowing up? There you go. Those two pops you heard were the upper bead and the lower bead seating. Now we wanna take this tire pressure up to about 30 pounds, maybe 35 right here on this gauge. So push down a little bit. That clicking noise as it's pumping in air, let off. 
and the gauge tells us how much air is in there. Looks like right now we're at about 21 pounds. Okay, that's about 31. We'll go to 35 or so. Now, for our next step, before you pull this off of here, you want to have your valve core ready to go back in. So we're going to grab our tool and our little stem. And we're going to get these guys ready. Notice I'm holding it right like this. Everything's all one shot. Pull this off. And then tighten that down. And there you go. One tire mounted. Kind of easy. Not really that complicated. We have to remember that we still have to remove the tire, right? So what do we got to do? Do you remember which way this lever on the left has to go to release the clamps? Was it up or down? Okay, we're going to lift up. Now our, our pads have retracted. Now we take our center nut off. Now, there's a crucial step here that you have to make sure that you follow. You see how this has threads on it? Okay, you can get your good bit of your thumb in there. This rim is pretty thin and it will grab in there and lock. So what we have is a brass sleeve, or actually it's a piece of copper pipe. And you're gonna slip that down over there so that when we use the mechanism to raise this up off of the uh, post, that it doesn't catch the threads. So we're all ready, we've got our sleeve. Pedal on the right is gonna raise this all up. Slide our tire over and take our foot off the right pedal. One tire. Dismount and mount. Pretty simple. 